Oh, I love when the guitar riff comes back. Hello everyone, my name is Enzo Macarone and this is Pop Culture. So today I'm gonna react to one of the classics, one of the most important songs from System of a Down that is called B Y O B. Vio. Then I'm gonna talk about the game of words that is the name and the meaning of the song with the lyrics but first I want to see uh, how the video is like, the music video because it looks like it's gonna be a great production with a lot of content I have never listened to this song, not even in radio, playing in some place uh, I actually don't know anything about this song the only thing I read was the lyrics and was something about the meaning but I haven't listened to a single note from this song. Great guitar riff. That guitar sounds so good. Everybody's going to the party, have a real good time. Oh my god. Dancing in the desert, blowing up the sunshine. What a great guitar riff. Oh, that drums. Oh, I love when the guitar riff comes back. I love how experimental they are with their music. How they like to change the rhythm. And the drum sounds almost like a, you know, a party feel. I also like how they are playing this metal and the people is dancing like they are dancing to Usher or something like that, like Lil Pip or one of those trappers. Um, so it's like a club, but they are playing metal. I love changes in rhythm, I love that guitar riff, and the drums are sick. And this is the first time that I noticed Darren singing, and he was uh, quite awesome. So I enjoyed uh, both voices in this song. Amazing. Oh my god. Amazing. Dancing in 
So I noticed that they use a lot of red with black and white. Maybe it's uh, making a reference to national socialism, let's say Nazis, for a better understanding. Because the, that was a fascist regime. A fascist regime is um, when the government controls everything in a country where you have to obey what the government says as a machine and you can't think for yourself, you can't act as an adult and if you don't obey, well, you receive a punishment. They are criticizing that part of the United States that is fascist, let's say. And fascism, I don't know if it is pronounced like that, is part of the USA and I will tell you why I think that is the case. Uh, I think that the, what they spend on, for example, military uh, spending, I think it's too huge because, for example, the USA is, is spends in their military, in their army forces, they spend more than all the other countries of the world combined. And all that uh, money that the USA spends on military spending, that is a lot, it's um, crazy, could be used to uh, improve education, improve healthcare, and that will make uh, the living conditions of the whole population in the country a lot better. And if they develop technology and education, the, uh, more people would invent stuff and create more jobs and whatever. And also the police force in the US, it's very violent. The training they have, it's almost military training and it's not a very civil, uh, civil uh, police. It's not a police that is focused on the citizen. It is focused on uh, being uh, harsh, being uh, violent. So those are two of the big problems that the US has, at least for me, uh, relating it, related to fascism. So maybe the color is in reference to that, to the Nazis, because they are criticizing the military, the police, and also, well, uh, the police and the military in the US has this propaganda uh, system where in movies and in series and culturally they um, promote the military, the army, the police. They show it as if you do this, you are a better person. If you get into in the army or if you get in the police, you are a better person. That's what the movies show you. And that is a propaganda system to make uh, people that don't have a lot of resources volunteer in order to service. Of course, there are people that do it because they uh, love their country and they think they are doing a good service to their country uh, participating in the army. And I respect that. I also loved how they showed uh, this contrast between them playing metal and the people dancing like it's a club. It also goes with the meaning of the song that they use this uh, acronym of BIOF that would be bring your own uh, beverage, but they use bring your own bombs. And I think it goes very well with the, with the lyrics because they are talking about uh, making a party that sometimes governments, they look like they are doing a party that they say, okay, let's begin a war. Let's uh, debate who is going to keep this oil, who is going to sell more guns, because uh, you know that war, it's a, an industry that sells a lot of millions and billions of dollars selling weapons all around the world. So war is a business. And sometimes countries look like they are making business when they start wars. Of course, that to me, there's nothing more stupid than uh, starting a war. To me, all the conflicts in the world should be resolved by diplomacy, democracy, and uh, business. 
it would be better if all the countries uh, came together to develop education, technology, uh, sharing information in order to keep improving technology and keep improving business all around the world. We would all benefit from that instead of just saying this is mine and fighting for it. But I'm not going to stay here and say, oh, they are the only fascist country. It's not the only country that does that. Be careful because the other two more powerful nations are China, which is a communist dictatorship, and Russia, where the democracy level is quite questionable and there are a lot of people there that think that the government is using uh, corruption and, and that elections could be controlled by the government. So, And it's a country that has invaded other countries, other regions, other nations, or has supported invasions, for example, in the case of them, uh, Armenia, for example, Russia has supported invasion of Karabakh by Azerbaijan. So, well, we could ask the question, what do you prefer to be the number one most powerful nation, talking about military force? China, a communist dictatorship, Russia, a very questionable democracy that also has this, uh, this costume of invading other countries or supporting invasions or revolutions. We don't know. I mean, I think we uh, all countries have a faces part that has to be controlled, but well. So those were my thoughts about this song. I really enjoyed it. So that was my opinion. Please don't be offended if you don't think uh, the same as me. To me, it's stupid when people get angry and attack others because of the way they think. That only makes us go backwards and we don't we can't move forward and uh, to come to an agreement to me if you are anti-war but you don't respect the opinion of others you are doing the same thing you are using force in order to uh, say that you what you want is what's right it's better to share opinions with all liberty so thank you very much for watching the video see you on the next one goodbye